Hey guys, it's Rachel. So today I thought it would be super fun for me to reflect on my college experience, specifically my community college experience, and beneficial for you guys to hear it just in case you are about to graduate high school or you're thinking about pursuing your college degree or going back to school, something like that. So I just thought I'd sit here, tell you why I chose community college over a university first and just give you some tips, give you some little, you know, pointers here and there, things I learned, and yeah, just reflect on my experience as a whole. So, I graduated high school in June 2018, and before, prior to graduating, I had looked into some universities, all of which they were like three, four hours away from me, and honestly, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a lot of ideas in my head, such as I wanted to be a meteorologist at one point. I wanted to study weather, tell you what the weather was. <laughs> and um, I also thought about fashion marketing, and I just, I was very confused on what I wanted to do, and that's okay. I want to say that right off the bat. If you're in high school, if you've been in high school, you totally get what I'm saying. It is so thrown at you okay, what, what do you, what do you want to major in? What do you want to do with the rest of your life? It's like, okay, you have time, I promise you, to figure it out after high school. Like, you, you don't, it's like, it's as if you're getting thrown into the world right after high school. And in a way, you are, but in a way, you absolutely have time to change your mind, to grow. And, yeah, like I, like I said, I personally, Number one, I like being home, and I have a community college really close to me, so that's great. And second of all, I just felt it was beneficial to not waste my parents' money, not to, you know, waste my time at a university that I didn't know what I was doing there, and later on regret it. So, I went to community college, and I just went into the general studies program, took some cool classes. And I found myself. I found myself, you know, wanting to do things in media communications, which is now what I am studying. That is my major. And so, yeah, I went to community college for two years, and I'm really happy to say I did that because I got a lot of amazing experiences. I took a lot of cool classes, and I met some really awesome people. So, yeah. I just feel like there's equally as many opportunities at community college than, you know, going to a university. It is okay. So in fall of 2018, I started community college. That was my first semester there, and I was really excited, honestly. Like, it was just such a new chapter in life, and I knew I was going to meet new people. I didn't know anyone. Bobby was going to this community college at the time. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know anybody else. And, you know, community college was so much bigger than my high school, of course. And so I was really nervous. So um, I actually want to just go ahead and say I met Ian in community college. And he has become literally my best friend. And right along with Bobby, those two are just my favorite people. And my hair looks weird, talks like that behind my ear, so I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, untuck it. But I remember we had to take, like, this intro to college class, it was called SDV, and we met in that class. We instantly clicked, and yeah, we were also in history together, and it was just really a good time. I do want to go ahead and say, tip number one, please go and rate my professor. I wish I had known this. I did not figure this out until it was too late. <laughs> I will be the first to admit, I am absolutely not good at math, okay? Hi, I'm Rachel, and uh, I literally am not good at math, but when something is thrown my way, I try my hardest. I give my all into trying to figure out how the heck to do math. So, my <laughs> first semester there, I took quantitative reasoning and I got a professor that um, barely explained anything and said I submitted a project wrong in the wrong format and uh, I didn't get a good grade on it. We'll just put it that way. In conclusion, I had to retake that class. But uh, if I had known what rate my professor was, I probably 
would have gotten a much better professor and a much better education on quantitative reasoning to begin with. So, do your research, kids. Please go and rate my professor. It's really beneficial. And so, yeah. <laughs> so, that was my first mistake. But it's okay. I passed the class a second time, went on and took statistics. I had to take statistics online because of COVID, which was an interesting task to boot. But you know what? I passed and you know what? That's all that matters. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I thought that I would see a lot of people from my high school. I saw a couple, but nobody I intentionally didn't want to run into, if you know what I mean. So that was awesome. I quickly made friends in every single class, so I had somebody to bounce my ideas off of and stuff like that. It's good to make a connection with at least one person in your classes. Just, you know, sit down next to someone and just start a conversation. I don't know how I got so bold. <laughs> I'm going to be really honest because I used to be really shy and I used to be like really you know, quiet to myself. I've always been the type to have just like a couple close friends. I've never been the type to have like a million friends. And you know what, honestly, that's okay with me, but it is good to know somebody in your classes. You know, if you're not there one day, say, hey, what did I miss? Or hey, on homework, did you get the same thing I did? Because honestly, I'm confused. Or hey, I read this, I'm confused. Do you get this topic? Make a, at least one friend in the class. I promise you it'll be really beneficial, especially, especially if it's a lab. I will say it's very important because there's a lot of bouncing off of each other, a lot of ideas being passed around, and you know what? It's really, really important to, you know, have somebody, like, bounce your ideas off of. And I will say, a lot of people are very welcoming in community college. It's not like... You're thrown into a situation where everybody's like, okay, now what? Like, everybody's very open. They want to talk to new people, and I think that's amazing. Like, I talked to people that were 10 years older than me, and they were just as cool, you know, as the people I talked to that were my age and just graduating high school as well and just starting their college education. So, yeah, it was really cool to meet new people and bond with new people, talk to new people, and just... You know, that can happen at a university, but, you know, I didn't do university first, and you know what, that's okay. And I just want to say, like, when I say help people with homework or help people in class, like, I am not saying cheat. A lot of the times the professors would literally tell us, like, hey, make a friend in the class, you know, um, if you have a question on the homework, you know, bounce your idea off of them or something like that. Never cheat. It is not okay. That is not what I'm saying. I just wanted to say. You know, we, we are not Olivia Jade here. <clears throat> Anyways, I just wanted to say that because it is really important. And in every single college class, they tell you how important it is not to cheat because you will have it on your permanent record. And so when I say bounce your ideas off of someone, I do not mean copy their report. So <laughs> um, I am not speaking off personal experience on that. I'm just saying that it is made very clear. And I wanted to tell you guys that as well, going into it. So, you know, help each other while you can. And so when you get on the test or a quiz or a lab report, you know what you're doing. And, you know, just obtain enough knowledge, you know, until you get to those tests or quizzes. And so you feel comfortable. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I actually found my passion and I found what I wanted to do when I took a public speaking class and she would give us like different topics and stuff like that and I actually got to report on Taylor Swift and I got to, we had to do like a controversial topic and so I chose, you know, because Taylor Swift is always in the media for like, oh my gosh, like she's such a bad person. Well. I got up there and I said why she isn't a bad person and I related my personal experiences and that is really cool too like professors genuinely seem like they care 
about your personal experiences and like how you've grown from them and you just he get to hear so many experiences in community college that it is amazing and yeah I really decided that I wanted to work in media and I mean be a talent manager you know maybe even be a journalist or you know I just want to work in PR I want to work in the entertainment industry that really where my heart is and I know that and I'm gonna make it happen <laughs> and even talking to you guys just makes me so so happy and that I get to share my experiences with you guys and so yeah I want to be the person who creates a positive light in the media and I will make that happen someday I already have a name for my company obviously I'm not gonna say it because somebody could steal it and we're not gonna have that happen <laughs> so um, I will keep my mouth shut on my name until you know one day it happens we're shooting we're shooting big here we're just making dreams come true also took a communications class and that really opened my eyes too because my professor was just so open to sharing his experiences he literally had worked with so many amazing people and he's done so many amazing things and he was in the entertainment industry and so he had his own like podcast and he just had done everything under the sun this man had done and it was truly truly just inspiring to listen to him talk and listen to what he had to say and I really walked out of that class every single day thinking oh my gosh like I can't wait to go back to that class and that was something I just wanted to pinpoint because there were a lot of times I never yeah, there were mornings I didn't want to get up, <laughs> obviously. Everybody has those mornings. But I looked forward to going to community college, and I looked forward to going into class, learning something new. So another tip is I would definitely recommend getting a planner, writing everything down for your classes. So I went to my advisor at the end of the semester. I always would, but... This, this is one thing about community college. Please make sure that you are getting the right information because let me tell you, the advising department, the counseling department, the financial aid department, Bobby could vouch for me, was a mess and a half at this community college. So, like, I, I swear, it was just the biggest circus to get one task done. <laughs> So um, I would definitely make sure that you just get a steady advisor. When I got like a steady advisor and I got the same one every single time that I would go to schedule classes, it made it so much easier. But keep on them. Keep on them. Okay, look at my highlight. Oh my gosh, my highlight is like shimmering. But make sure that you definitely keep all your stuff together, keep all your documents together in case they try and mess something up like they did a couple times for me. You will have the documentation and all that so you can get it situated. So definitely, like even if you call the community college, you should like write down the time. I got this from my mom. She was an administrator for many years and I definitely got my skills from her on keeping documentation. But literally write the time, who you spoke with, what you spoke about, and I promise you it will definitely benefit you in the end in case there is a mishap. But like I said, get a planner. I took 21 credits. That is a lot of credits. <laughs> I took 21 credits to finish up the semester just because I wanted to leave community college I was ready for my experience to be done there. I had done, you know, two years there and I was like, you know what, I'm going to push myself and everybody, even the advising counselors were like, um, do you sure you want to do 21 credits? Like that's a lot. Like you can just carry it on to the fall, which would be this fall. I'm like, no, like I, I know I can do it. And my mom is like 21 credits and my dad's like 21 credits. My grandpa's like, 21 credits literally everyone around me my friend natalie was like 20 21 credits 21 like you're kidding i and i told every single one of them i'm like i can do it like i know i can and i did i did it and now i have my associate's degree so i'm not saying push yourself but sometimes when you have an end goal in sight 
when you know like you're so so close to the next step in your life you're like I'm gonna do it and I did it and I'm really proud of myself for that I know that sounds braggy I don't mean it to sound braggy but you know what it is important to congratulate yourself and be proud of yourself because college is not easy and college you know there's so many different things to learn in college so many different you know learning techniques so many new portals you have to go into and so many different things you gotta just put together as a whole to learn about the class and every class seems like it's different so yeah be proud of yourself sincerely I can't say that enough it is very important to be proud of yourself so I would definitely also recommend carving out time for specific classes meaning if you have let's say math and history and communication all in one day say Monday and Wednesday and then you only have you know that communication class on only Mondays or something like that we're just we're just speaking out loud here um, it is a good idea to carve out time either that night or like the next night before you go back into that class on Wednesday morning to definitely you know either tie up loose ends or review stuff and also guys I know I'm all over the place maybe I should have written some points down but you know what I kind of just wanted to speak from my heart in this video but never buy the textbooks unless you have to okay I would like to speak from experience on this because for example I had to buy a math code and it was very specific to my community college and stuff like that but there was a public speaking code for like Revel, I think, that was so expensive in the manual at my community college, but I went on Amazon and I got it for like $25. Definitely Amazon will become your best friend. It definitely will. There's so many online resources too that half the time I didn't even use a textbook. I think I might have opened a textbook like one or two times and that's just my personal experience. I wrote write good notes too that is so important I wrote every single little detail down that the professor said and I would go home and if we had like a document based question off of it or something like that I would just always go home expand on it and then write about it and I just felt that note taking very very good note taking was so beneficial and guys don't like I said don't buy the textbooks like my history professor was like you will need this you will need this over and over and over again and I was like okay I got the textbook and we never opened it not once <laughs> so be, just be careful of that go with what your heart says and I always seemed to get the textbooks because I was like oh but like what if I need it like what if something comes up Go with your heart if you really think you'll need it if it makes you feel more comfortable to rest at night to have it next to your bed i'm speaking from personal experience on that one get the textbook but if you but nine times out of ten i've learned that when a professor says you need a textbook you probably won't need the textbook like i said unless it's like a specific code or something you probably won't need it so Definitely go on Amazon and just type in a lot of the times, you know, when you sign up for classes or something, you go to the bookstore and you like, they have like a code or something you type in for that textbook. Literally look at that textbook. Oftentimes it'll have pictures or the exact information. Literally just copy that information, put it into Amazon and I, you're welcome. You'll save some coins. <laughs> But yeah, I think that is just where I'm going to wrap up this video. I don't know what else I could say. Um, if you guys are interested in a Q&A, like this video and then leave your questions down below because I would absolutely love to do that for you guys. You know, I kind of just summarized how I found my career and what I wanted to do and why I did it and gave you guys a couple tips. But if you guys would like me to answer specific questions feel free to leave them below I would definitely love to do that for you guys so I love you guys so much I hope this entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you yes you in the next one bye guys